yes good afternoon students so <clears throat> already we have uh, seen the phases of moon okay few uh, videos also i have shown you regarding the phases of moon how the moon is revolving around the sun how uh, sorry how it is revolving around the earth because it is a satellite so it is moving around the earth it is the satellite of earth it is a natural satellite and according to the revolution of the moon uh, we we are making our calendar our calendar the celebrations are made now here you can see the next step that is uh, moving forward after the phases of moon uh, it is about the moon's surface okay so the next is the moon's surface just wait students so you can see that when the full moon is there uh, you might have observed that it is having uh, this moon it is a fantastic uh, fascinating object so moon surface means moon uh, we have seen that it is described by the poets it is described by the writers many a times isn't it moon ka jo varnan uh, hai uh, mostly uh, in literature you can see that it is uh, observed now you can see so many uh, craters are there in the moon it is a dusty satellite a dusty rocky uh, satellite or the surface which is con contains of dust and rocks and the surface is having craters so it is having craters of different size craters of different size means craters are there means uh, deep uh, surfaces we can see like this okay or like this or like this means the surface you can see it is having the craters like this so craters are also uh, some are very big some are very small हम इसे कह सकते हैं गड्ढे सो दे आर स्मॉल और बिग इन साइज देन इट ऑल्सो हैज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टीप एंड हाई माउंटेन्स देन इट इज हैविंग लार्ज एंड स्टीप माउंटेन्स सो दीज आर प्रेजेंट ऑफ द मून इट सेल्फ Understood, students? You can see, moon is made up of dust and rocks. Then having so many craters on the surface. Then it is blur, students. Okay. Then the surface is means the surface is made up of different craters. Then. there are large and steep mountains large and steep mountains are there like this mountains steep large and steep mountains okay understood students is it clear so this is about the just wait let me see why it is blur again students it might be because of the network again okay so this is all about the uh, moon the surface of the moon how is the surface first of all moon is 
made up of moon is made up of dust and rock then the surface is having craters craters are in as if beach mein kadhe hain aise aise so be bade like this then uh the next thing is that it is having mountain road to see large mountains bade bade mountains hai like this steep and large mountains okay understood then next the moon has no atmosphere and it has no water so here you can see no atmosphere no water that is why life does not exist here because moon is not having atmosphere and no water understood students so uh, just everyone is knowing this part students you know that uh, in july 21 1969 the american astronaut neil armstrong landed on the moon for the first time he was followed by edwin aldrin so the first man to land on the moon was neil and strong who landed on the moon in 1969 1969 okay the first man these astronauts they landed on the moon for the first time the first one was the neil armstrong and the second one was edwin aldrin okay so this is all about the moon you can see here the surface of the moon it is uh, the surface is not so plain it is having so many craters some are big and small then the moon is made up of dust and rock okay then uh, the surface is having so many craters and it is also covered by mountains steep and large mountains are there okay now next about the stars of the stars okay now so the stars so students after watching the moon also you might be have seen the twinkling small bodies in the sky so this twinkling small bodies are nothing but the stars so twinkling these small twinkling bodies are nothing but the stars now sun you can see that you have already seen sun is also a star the sun is also a star sun is also a star okay so so there are so many stars when you watch the sky numerous numerous uh, infinite stars are there infinite you cannot even uh, count the stars so many stars are there and you can just imagine ki sun jo hai wo usme ka ek star hai to aise universe mein kitne stars hai see 
अभी आपको सोच कर ही कैसे लग रहा है कि अरे हमारे जो सोलर सिस्टम में सिर्फ एक सन और उसके अराउंड जो प्लैनेट्स हैं हम सिर्फ उन्हीं को देख पाए हैं एक वही हमारा सोलर सिस्टम है वन ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम इन द गैलेक्सी और ऐसे कितनी सारी गैलेक्सीज हैं और कितने सारे सोलर सिस्टम होंगे अभी तक तो हमने अपने ही प्लैनेट्स को वी हैव नॉट एट ऑल डिस्कवर्ड सिर्फ हमें पता है कि ये ये है लेकिन हमने प्रॉपर डिस्कवरी अभी तक नहीं की है वी हैव ओनली रीच टिल मार्स है ना कुछ प्लैनेट्स और कुछ सैटेलाइट हम देख पाए हैं कुछ भी नहीं बोल सकते हैं वेरी वेरी लिटिल और ऐसे यूनिवर्स में कितनी सारी गैलेक्सीज और कितने सारे सोलर सिस्टम्स होंगे सो यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन तो ये स्टार्स में इनफिनाइट स्टार्स में ओनली दिस वन सन इज वन ऑफ द स्टार then what is the difference students what is the difference between the sun and the stars now sun is nearest to the planet hamare sabse kareeb agar koi star hai to wo hai hamara sun isiliye wo thoda bada dikhta hai understood now is it clear so this one you can see it clearly this one we can see it we can just see that it is a big one but it is not like that there are so many other stars also are very very big than the sun so it is understood yes galaxy me jaisa hamara ek milky way galaxy hai milky way galaxy to hamare galaxy mein jo ek solar system hai उसमें और एक हमारा प्लैनेट है वैसे भी और भी सोलर सिस्टम्स हो सकते हैं गैलेक्सी हो सकती है तो हमने अपने ही सोलर सिस्टम भी ठीक से डिस्कवर नहीं किया है है ना अंडरस्टैंड तो यूनिवर्स और बाकी गैलेक्सी बाकी सोलर सिस्टम्स तो छोड़ ही दो स्टूडेंट्स एंड सी जिसको हम डिस्कवर करेंगे हम उसी के बारे में तो पढ़ सकते हैं ना इट स्टूडेंट्स ओके देन नेक्स्ट नाउ सो देर इज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टार्स इन द स्काई व्हेन वी ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली ऑन द डार्क नाइट एंड फ्रॉम द प्लेस वेयर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द बिग सिटी नाउ sun is also the star and it is the biggest one no one of the biggest star okay the stars are million of times further away than the sun so why they are twinkling why the stars are twinkling because they are they are many times away from us then the sun okay they are uh, we can see uh, million of times farthest they are million of times farthest than sun सन से कभी मिलियन टाइम्स मिलियन टाइम्स ये स्टार्स हमसे दूर है अंडरस्टैंड नो नो स्टूडेंट्स स्टार्स आर नॉट कूल किसने कहा कि स्टार्स कूल है दे आर अवे एंड अवे फ्रॉम अस बहुत 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 दूर मिलियन टाइम्स अवे सन से हमारे और से सन की जितनी दूरी है उतनी मिलियन टाइम्स ज्यादा एक टाइम दो टाइम दस बारह हजार टाइम नहीं मिलियन टाइम्स अवे फ्रॉम अर्स दी स्टार्स 
which are looking like they are twinkling these stars are million times away from us understood is it clear so now here just i will read it for you information is there sun is nearly i will write down here 15 million kilometers 150 million kilometers away from us this is about the sun 150 million kilometers away from us how much 150 million kilometers away from us and uh, that means nearly okay so this much it is away yes 147 150 round figure agar hum lete hain to 150 million kilometers away then the next nearest star is alpha centauri after sun the next one is alpha centauri the next star first is the sun first one is the sun and the next nearest star is the alpha centauri okay then uh it is at a distance of about uh that is again for that is kilometers from the earth and you can read this distance in kilometers conveniently okay so here again if i read it it is this much kilometers of it the alpha centauri is this much kilometers away from us okay then it is <coughs> now so for uh, these now kilometers uh, if we need to write it properly or for our convenience now this is converted into light years so it is the distance traveled by the light in one year so kyunki yahan tak pahunchne ke liye light ko bhi utna samay lagega isn't it because the fastest soul or the fastest uh, one which reaches to the earth is the light so humne light ka distance liya hai light ka speed liya hai as a we are calculating it as a uh, for our convenience we can calculate it into the light year because light travels very fast usko jitna samay lagta hai utna kilometer se hame pata hi hai ki usko wo kitna kilometer per second travel karta hai that will be converted okay so here now it is the distance traveled by light in one year remember that the speed of the light is about 300000 kilometer per second so everyone should remember that the speed of light now here is the speed of light it is 
kilometer per second. Three hundred thousand kilometer per second. So you can convert it now. One second in a light, how much light travels? Three hundred thousand. Okay, three hundred thousand kilometer per second. So now you can just see. इतना सारा हम कितने समय तक लाइट को ट्रैवल करने के लिए लगेगा सो दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू लाइट इयर्स ओके इट इज वेरी इजी देन नाउ दस द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सन फ्रॉम द अर्थ मे बी सेड एज टू बी अबाउट एट लाइट मिनट्स सो नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इफ वी कैलकुलेट सो the distance of if we are calculating the distance of sun then the distance of sun in light years is okay understood students That means eight minutes. Now you can convert it. He light को travel करने के लिए three hundred thousand kilometers in one second. So now we have to convert it into seconds, and then seconds are converted into minutes. So this is the simple method. Okay. Then the next one. In fact, so Bhargav man man does not landed on the sun. Sun पे कैसे जा सकता है? Sun is a fire. It is a mass of fire. No one has landed on sun. Moon पर ही land हुआ है. Sun के पास भी हम even we have not reached the नियरेस्ट फोर बी वहां तक तो नहीं पहुंचे हैं आजू बाजू तक भी नहीं पहुंचे हैं अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज द टेम्परेचर इज वेरी वेरी हाई ओके सो इन फैक्ट द स्टार्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द स्काई ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम आल्सो हाउ एवर दे आर नॉट विजिबल बिकॉज ऑफ द ब्राइट सनलाइट सो दे आर नॉट विजिबल बिकॉज ऑफ द ब्राइटनेस ऑफ द सन So, observe some prominent stars or a group of stars in the sky for about two hours or more. So, now if we observe this, so what we find that uh, there is a change in their position. So, you will find that the stars appear to move from east to west. The stars. The stars are moving from east to west. Stars. See, actually, stars are not moving from east to west. Our Earth is moving from west to east. Okay, our Earth. Our Earth is moving from west to east. From the west to east. इसीलिए ईस्ट का जो रीजन है वहां पर सबसे पहले सनराइज होता है और बाद में वेस्ट के तरफ ओके बिकॉज द अर्थ इज मूविंग अर्थ जो रोटेशन हो रहा है अर्थ का इट इज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट वेस्ट टू ईस्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स अंडरस्टूड सो So you will find that the stars appear to move from east to west. The stars which rise in the east in the evening sets in the west in the early morning. So, so why do they appear to move from east to west? So what is the reason, students? Because our Earth is moving, our Earth is rotating. Okay.
so this part have you understood students about first about the moon the surface of the moon then about the stars so the stars which are very very far away are very very billion kilometers away from the earth means a sun se bhi million times billion uh, kilometers away nahi billion times away from the earth so isko hum multiply kar sakte hain so it is better to write in the light year So the next two part is about the constellation. Constellation. Yes, students. Constellation. Constellation is a group of stars. Listen carefully. What is constellation? तो कल कई बार एक bunch दिखाई देता है, एक one group of stars which have a definite pattern. उसका एक proper pattern है. Understood? This star is having a proper pattern or a shape, and that is why it can be identified very easily. it can be identified very easily understood students so these stars are called as a constellation constellation is a group of stars nothing but it is a group of stars that uh, that is having a proper pattern or a shape a bunch which is having a shape and that can be identified abhi hame aap kabhi bhi स्काई अगर देखने के लिए बोलो तो हमें सप्त ऋषि जो है सेवन स्टार्स वो दिखाई देते हैं वेस्ट की तरफ या कुछ ऐसे पैटर्न है जो प्रॉपर दिखाई देते हैं इजीली इट कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड इन द स्काई है ना आपने कभी देखा है कि स्काई की तरफ सो इट कैन बी इजीली आइडेंटिफाइड ओके सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज कंस्टेलेशन नाउ so one of the most famous constellation that can be seen during the summer night that is called as the ursa major sabse pehla major sabse pehla that is the ursa major then ursa major jo hai it is also known as big dipper also known as the great bear or saptarishi isi ko hum uh great bear bhi kehte hain it is also called as great bear or saptarishi ursa major okay then so isme aise seven hote hain 1 two, three, four, five, so total seven stars Four, five, seven. So total seven stars.
ओके ये ऐसे होते हैं सप्त ऋषि इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बिग डिपर और ग्रेट बेयर इस तरह से ओके yes students just wait i am sending the link to you link bhej diyu main just wait yes students fill the form and today yes fill the form students जुपिटर हाँ जुपिटर देख सकते हैं हम वीनस भी दिखाई देता है सम ऑफ द प्लैनेट्स आर रियली वी कैन वॉच इट ओके सो फील इट एंड देन 